Hello interwebs, welcome back to my channel, thanks for tuning in. Today is Movie Monday. So we are going to be talking about a movie that I just got a chance to see recently. Ooh, I actually have mail. And uh, wanted to talk to you guys about it. And it is Jack Reacher. It's had a lot of, people have been talking about it a lot. Some hype, some skepticism. And uh, since it was a movie made from a book, obviously there's going to be a lot of uh, people who want to compare it to that. And uh, I've heard some things up and some things down about it, so I thought I would check it out. So, while well, I saw through my mail, why don't you guys check out the trailer. See you. Can I help you? James Barr. You say you shot five people. Oh. So, that was the trailer for Jack Reacher, and before we get too far into this uh, video, I just wanted to say that I was surprised by this movie, not necessarily in a good way. Um, Jack Reacher was pretty anticlimactic for me, um, just from what I got from the trailers and, and things like that before the movie came out, it seemed like it was going to be like an action-packed kind of thing, kind of like a Bourne type of uh, movie, which I wasn't really looking forward to. I'm kind of born out. There's been a lot of these action thriller type movies coming out lately, and this seems to just be like one more of, a, of that style. But uh, in all actuality, after the movie was all said and done, even though there was a pretty fair amount of action in it, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. I mean, the, the Born Legacy was pretty... I mean, action scene after action scene after action scene. It was pretty action-packed uh, when it came right down to it. So that's kind of what I was expecting from like a, a Tom Cruise movie, and um, and this being kind of hyped the way that it was it was going to be. And I not not read the books, so um, all I had to go by really was uh, you know trailers and things of that nature going into this movie. And um, surprisingly, it was more of like a psychological thriller with action parts in it. Which I actually, I, I enjoyed. It was kind of like a relief not to have to go through another, you know, shoot em up, bang em up type of, you know, type of movie. And it has its parts. This is, it's probably like an action thriller kind of thing. So it, it does have its action parts. And um, Tom Cruise is good in that, in those areas. But uh, the movie overall, it, 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 you know, there, there was some story behind it. And you had to do some thinking. It was kind of a detective story. Um, so that was good, in my opinion. It was a surprise to me, and I ended up enjoying that aspect of this movie uh, quite a bit. The, uh, the more detective-style story, figuring things out, figuring out what's going on. After it was all said and done, that was the part I enjoyed the most. The action was... Okay, it supported the storyline, but uh, it was so-so. The, the one really cool thing about this, uh, after I did a little bit of research after I saw the movie, and apparently Tom Cruise really wanted to do a lot of his own stunts, uh, spark, especially the uh, car driving parts. And I think that just adds a lot to it. Um, you get a lot of close-ups of, uh, of the main character driving, and you can tell that it's them doing it. It's, it, it adds a little bit more uh, to the character, to the story, to the overall movie, I think. So that was an enjoyable part. One of the things that was kind of cheesy to me that I didn't really appreciate as far as the storyline goes, the introduction of the Robert Duvall character later on in the movie, um, kind of helping out Tom Cruise and then showing up in the end to uh, kind of lend him a hand with the bad guys. He kind of lent this buddy cop tone to this movie that was already set up to be somewhat serious and uh, more straightforward in a... Uh, in, a, in the storytelling, and then we kind of get this character dropped in at the end that kind of lent this bit of comic relief to the movie. When he, he, he was funny, especially later on when you actually get introduced to the Robert Duvall character, I was kind of like, oh, okay, well, maybe this will actually end up adding a little bit of something better to look at, but it actually really didn't. It kind of ruined the whole thing for me, the buddy cop kind of humor thing at the end, which I didn't really feel like it was necessary, so 
And it was just added like a very strange tone, strange twist at the end of the movie as far as the uh, as far as the character interactions go. So, um, like I said, pretty anticlimactic. Um, I, I think th this one can wait to be a rental. We'll wait for it to pop up on uh, cable, or I don't necessarily think it uh, lived up to the hype of all of the uh, movie buzz going on about it before it uh, actually hit the theaters. And I'm not sure how the books go. Apparently, there's a lot of books. There's like 13, 14 of the books in this series of this character. And um, all I can really say is I I hope that they're better. <laughs> if it's 13 books long of of a lot like what you get in the movie I can't imagine I mean what? 13 books long people obviously like it but if it went like anything like it did in the movie I just can't imagine why so uh, take it for what it is thanks for stopping by the channel interwebs I appreciate you coming by hope you guys all had an enjoyable holiday and uh, get right back in there with business as usual in 2013 uh, thanks for stopping by the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.